YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Eisenhower's Tactical, man. Uh, well, let's get right into it. As you saw from the title, uh, is it uh, less expensive or cheaper to build an AR in California, or is it better to just buy the whole thing built out, pick a brand, and buy it in California? And that's kind of a subjective question, but uh, you know, we're going to get into it. Hey, before I start, though, man, if you if you got kids that play uh, small softball or baseball or any kind of if you got a glove and you're looking for a good, good glove conditioner, man, I'm trying to I've been telling people about this for years. I turned a lot of people on to this. This was turned on to me by a guy that I coached with. And uh, this is the best glove conditioner that I know of. There's a lot of glove conditioners, but this stuff is good, man. I've been using this for like over well, about 10 years. So go ahead and check them boys out. Good glove conditioner. That was my side note. <laughs> but yeah, man, so is it cheaper to buy it built out or is it cheaper to build it yourself? Well, to be honest with you, it's going to be based upon what kind of uh, AR-15 you want, and what kind of, it would looking for a brand or this, that, and the other. But let's just get into some logistics of buying an AR in California. So for a lot of people who don't know, in California, the long guns are readily available in california you don't have to worry you don't have a lot of restrictions so that means basically pretty much any rifle you can buy in america you can buy it in california it's just going to be based on the configuration that would make it kind of like not legal so if it's 16 inches or more you can pretty much buy it and you're you're okay however we have a gun list so if the gun is not on the california gun roster then you can't buy it so that's the only limitation in the rifle game and then the configuration so so for example you know this ar is by dpms and i bought this in california and bought it in a complete it wasn't built and I, the configuration i get to get away with this configuration because of the uh the, the mag the mag that i chose the, the way i chose to go about build, getting this ar so uh, it's gonna be a long video just just hold on get your popcorn so you can have mag compliancy mags so this is called uh comp mag and what this is is a california restricted straight uh california let's stay with california it's a california compliant magazine that will allow you to have an AR rifle uh, in this configuration with all the uh, features. They call them features like, uh, you know, uh, stock here, pistol grip, without the fin on the back. You all seen the fin they have. Probably if you don't, they'll, this will be have a fin on here if you didn't have the MAC compliant. Uh, vertical grip, uh, flash hider. So those are, those are features in California. They call those features. And so to have those features, you would have to have comp mag. This is one way around it. You can have this mag. And the way this mag works, it's a window as a oops, oh, as a side loading. Uh, let's just unload it real quick, just so YouTube, all my weapons are unloaded. Let's just unload it so I can show you how this mag works. Okay, so this is the way the mag works. Okay. You it's a, basically it's the same receiver, no different receiver needed in California. All the receivers are all the same nationwide. There's nothing about the receiver that makes it different. It's the mag that's going to make it different. So you got the mag, you chose the mag comp. They want you to actually load this like that, pull that lever down, lock it in. And then there's a window right here. You'll see. You see, it says bullet facing that way. And then you see this little ledge, and then that's where you drop the, the rounds in. Drop the rounds in like that, and you keep going, and then you close the window, and then you release the lever up here, and that'll seat it. That'll see the rounds at the top. Now, if you notice, there's a little screw right there. So that screw basically is what's going to lock it. when you get it when you get it inside the mag. You're going to tighten that, uh, you're going to put it in. Let me unload it. You're going to put them, clear mag. 
you're going to put the mag in and then what you would have to do you'd have to ha you would have to have this open and you would lock you would, you would tighten down that uh that screw take a screwdriver and you would tighten that screw down inside of the uh inside the receiver so it'll, it'll be like this kind of like let me make it easier for you so you can understand it a little easier so what you would do okay there you go so basically what you're going to do is you're going to have your you have to put this in first see so you have to split your receiver open and then you will tighten that screw down and then what happens is the mag doesn't come out so that's how the mag compliancy works. Now, the other way to have an AR with features is that there's a split receiver model you can get. And what that is, so the whole point of mag comp is that they want you to load your ammo inside of the mag while still inside the rifle. I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's, that's how you can get all the features. And then when you go to a free state, you can just slap another mag in there and we'll get to all that later. But now the other way you can do it is you could have it's a it's called a, i don't know one of my buddies got one tap rack tyler you can go to his channel i didn't like that so much because what it is you have to split it it splits like this in order to drop the mag so you can have a regular mag but in order to drop the mag you'd have if the receiver comes like this and you split it and then you can hit the button and then the mag drops but when it's like this the mag won't drop so i hope that makes sense so that's the other way you can buy an ar in california it's the receiver is split right here okay um and if i say anything wrong anybody watches uh sorry you know and i'm not giving bad information i may not be giving all the information but that's the gist of how you buy it of the choices of your ar now with the split receiver you still can run a regular mag that's the difference understand that the split receiver you can run a regular mag the only difference is you can't drop it from the mag release because you got to open the receiver up and there's guys out here are really good at that and fast at like cracking it, dropping it, and then putting another mag in because you can run regular mags. But the receiver has to be cracked open in order to drop the mag. I hope you understand that. With the mag comp, you have to load your ammo, technically by law, while it's inside the rifle, inside of this side loading gate. However, your mag will not drop because you have the screw, you have the screw inside of there tightened down. And so that won't, that won't allow the mag to release. So that's the differences. And with the split receiver and with the mag hump, you get all the features. Now, if you went feature list, that would mean you would not have flash hider on here. You wouldn't be able to get a grip on here. You would have to have a, a fan back here, I do believe and everything else is pretty much the same only difference is with the featureless ar that you can buy is that you can run regular mags you don't need mag comp you don't need split receiver it's just a regular mag use your mag button drop your mags that's the only difference the only but the big difference is you don't get all the features can't get a flash hider can't get this can't get this and yeah so that's the featureless ar-15 some people do actually buy that featureless AR-15 because when they can just run regular mags without the mag thing, because you got to figure this is a pain in the ass. The split receiver is a pain in the ass. A regular mag, not so much a pain in the ass, we just don't get all the features. The AR looks very bone, bone dry and bare, but still has all the functionality of a regular AR-15. So that's what I got for that, man. I know that's a whole lot. Uh, so I just want to point that out and uh, hope everybody understands that's how that works. And I hope this video was, uh, you know, worthwhile. Uh, and, you know, we'll, we'll go into the rest of it in just a second here. So is it cheaper to buy an AR-15? So let's just say, for example, this AR-15 in California, it, it was in this configuration. It was roughly around 800 bucks. Okay. Now you can get a Smith & Wesson M&P for like 500 bucks in the free world, 600 bucks. But so a, a well, a, a fully built AR-15 in California, uh, like I said, if you want the, it doesn't matter the features or not, it's not going to be too much difference of the price because at that point you're picking a brand of their AR that you want. It's just they're going to have to sell you the California compliant one. So 
you're looking at about 800 bucks, maybe 900, 700 for AR. Depends which one you pick out. They got some that like 600 out here. Don't don't let nobody fool you. They fully built. But the thing is, you you know, like I said, you have to pick what kind of compliance you was going to follow into. So to build one, you can get what you want, how you want it, things of that nature. But you might pay a little bit more building than you would just buying it whole. And uh, and that's that's the difference. So and I, and I have another video on I do another video on uh, price point on building and how to build goals and things of that nature. And again, in California, uh, this is I think in the whole country, this is the uh, register part, the, the lower receiver. The rest is all parts. So you want to really keep that in mind when you're in California. If anyone watching them, I, I, I'm going to do another video on how you can circumvent uh, the process of having a lame ass AR when you can build it and still stay in compliancy. And then when you leave out of the state, you can just have it how you want. Hey man, it's your boy Eyes and there's Tactical Man. I just want to drop that little video on this uh, mad comp, this mad comp and how that works. Uh, and the three the three different ARs you can buy. Again, mad comp. You're gonna have that screw at the top, and then that's gonna you're gonna lock that into your receiver because you're gonna split your receiver. You're gonna split your receiver like this. You're gonna split your receiver. Okay, split your receiver open like that, and then you're gonna slap your mag in there. You're gonna slap your mag in there. Okay, let me get this thing up in here. So you get your mag in there and then you tighten down the screw and then your mag is locked in there and you have to load from the side gate. Now with the other compliant mag uh, AR is that the receiver splits like this and then that'll allow you to drop your mag like that. You just hit your button like a regular mag and that's the other difference. So it's kind of split like this. Okay, and then that, that allows you to drop the mag. But once you close it, you can't use the button to drop the magazine on the other compliancy. So, and then you have featureless where it's just a regular mag, no button lock, everything's the same. You just don't get all the features, flash hider, vertical grip, all the A2 front sight. You don't get that either. So that's the difference guys. And it's your boy Eisenhower's tactical. Uh, yeah, it's a hassle. But again, and once you learn, don't be discouraged. If you're in California, don't be discouraged. Don't let nobody in other states talk to you, try to clown you like, oh, man, that, that's crazy. You know, uh, again, and then you have to have a fan on there uh, and let nobody discourage you. If you live, especially live in Southern California, you guys should know by now. And if you don't, you can just, you know, you can find a lot of places you can shoot without all these restrictions, in, you know, inside the state and on that border of the state. It's just when you're in your safe, when you have these weapons in your safe in California. Make sure you have the compliant. Don't have this mag. If you have a mag up in here and you're safe, something happens or you, sh you have to use self-defense and you have a, a regular mag and then you turn that gun in. It was a regular mag in there. You're going to be in trouble. So you would have to actually use the mag, use the, the firearm and compliancy of how it's supposed to be configured in California to, to use AR and self-defense. And that's why most people in California use shotguns and pistols because the compliancy is very standard across the board so just keep that in mind self-defense make sure you have the right type of mag system that you're using however you bought that firearm and what configuration that you're allowed to use it in and when you go to the range you can do what you want leave the state you can do what you want and again that's why a lot of folks don't have ar-15s as their home defense weapon because this would probably get you killed using some shit like this to defend yourself all this kind of crap and now just to let you know these mags do run I was, I was tripped. I used them a bunch of times and they, it doesn't jam at all. So it's a U.S. made company and, you know, it's just basically made for compliancy. And they're quite expensive, too. They're like 40 bucks, something like that. But, yeah, man, that's what I got for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope anybody learned any questions, drop some comments. If I made something wrong or oh, well, it just happens. But that's the, that's the gist of, you know, the AR-15 and configurations and stuff like that. Everybody stay blessed. Peace.